Hey folks, uh, this is Ryan Garnett with SideQuest During the Apocalypse, and we are going to have a first impression video of Little Town Hero, a uh, game I got on Gamefly, so, um, ooh, NIS America. I'm usually into the kinds of JRPGs uh, they uh, put on the market, so that is an instant plus. Oh, this is pretty. All right, this kind of has like a, has a Nino Cooney kind of vibe to it. Oh, absolutely it does. What is it with video game companies putting a sound under the, like, the character's voice when they're talking, if it's not the actual voice line? We don't need that. Oh, before they had that, I didn't realize someone was talking. Like, it's, it's pointless, and a lot of the times it sounds really obnoxious, like this one. If your mom finds out, she's gonna flip. Burp, burp, burp. Almost makes me wonder if that's the language they're actually speaking and these are just captions. Oh, he did. <laughs> oh boy, where is he storing that? Oh, thinking that that's what we call a stink bomb in the business. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Oh, his poor butthole. What's the matter, young man? What'd you stick up your butt and then light on fire? You know, he, he didn't have to put a firework up his ass to come and tell someone that the village is on fire. Just saying. Follow the stream of light coming out of my butthole, please. I think I've officially said butthole more times in, in this video than I ever thought I would in any of these. All right, let's do this. It's peaceful, I couldn't ask for more except that there's a firework up my ass. We can't go outside the village. It's been that way since before I was born. Now, how do I know someone's narrating this if they're not making a noise? It's a promise the village villagers made with the people in the castle who protect us. That is a pretty dope looking castle. The only way to get out of the village is through the castle. That's why I want to go in. If I can talk to the ones inside, maybe they'll let me out on an adventure. That was yesterday. They're all descendants of uh, Beaker from the Muppets, I think. Like, this sounds like the kind of noise you'd expect from like a Nintendo game when people are talking. There doesn't need to be a noise there, just, just put the text. That's it. Alright, adventure awaits. Hey, buddy, how's your butthole doing? With my buddy Nels. No matter what happens, I can always count on him to be my partner in crime. All right. Okay, I won't make my mom mad. Me, 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 me. Speaking of buttholes. He doesn't look completely evil or anything. Let's do this. Well, is he gonna say it or is he gonna think it? Because that was a thought bubble. All right. Let's see what we got.
That thing that just floated above your head is called an is it? An is it is an idea that you can use at battle, but at the moment it's just a possibility you can't utilize it yet. Uh, okay. Oh, I don't. So. Ah, okay, so now I've, I've thought about it. Now it's a daz it. It goes from an is it to a daz it. But you need power to go from an is it to a daz it. Are you confused yet? The game you felt. You collide your daz its. That sounds kind of gross, huh? Oh boy! It kind of just looked like they kind of just thrusted their chests at each other. And, um, my. <laughs> I, my dad's it broke. I bent my Wookie. You know, you don't have to call them Izzets and Dazzits. It makes this game sound like it's made for four-year-olds. All right, kids, this is an idea. And we're gonna call it an Izzet. Oh, which... Which, which is it or Dazzit do I... Why are they... Let's try you... Let's try, try using a Dazzit you're not gonna break. And you could actually show them, like, punching and waving their swords, or you just show them doing what ends up looking like a pretty... a pretty intense chest bump. Okay, so now I can use my Dazit a second time. Because why not? So I just have to break his Dazits. I gotta use my Whozits and my Izits and turn them into Dazits to break his Whatsits. Oh my god. Well, clearly wants me to use this. Headbutt! I mean... Now, oh, his what's it's broke my who's it's. I feel like I can just do football commentary and that's about it right now. So now I got another is it to go with my dazits. So, let's break all of his dazits. By using my what's it's and my who's it's. Have I mentioned I don't like this so far? <laughs> Alright. Like, they don't even move their arms. Like, it looks like his, like, sheathed forearm is, like, bumping into me. I mean, at least my dude's putting his shield up, but... Like, if you're gonna have a game that's kinda... Uh, this simple, at least you could show them attacking each other. That just seems lazy. Oh, if he uses your who's it's and his what's it's and your dad's it's, you can get an extra hit. I don't know. I'm starting to think this sounds a little convoluted. Yeah, I hit you with my what's it's. Yay! I beat an old man who is taking it easy on me. Huzzah! Wah, wah. Now, Angard's a little deeper, so where the kids kind of have that, like, beaker, me, 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 me sound. Angard, hmm. He kind of sounds more like the, uh, the parents in, uh, uh Charlie Brown and Peanuts, the... Just kind of more like a, almost like a, like a trombone, I think, which, uh, you know, compared to the, uh... Compared to the, the the beaker speak of the other characters, it's a little lower in pitch. That's I'm I know all these nationalities because I spend a lot of time doing these things. That's why I do this. What are you doing, you little dick? I'm sneaking in. Get away from. God, I hate you so much, Maddock. You're such a dick. I don't know. I feel like I've played enough role-playing games in my lifetime where. Um, I don't know if I ever really need to play as, like, these kids look like they're eight. Can we just get over that a little bit? Just kind of move on, get a little over the hill there, like... I mean, I don't know if they're, if they're just trying to make it so it appeals to everyone, but, um... You know, the music's fine, too, but it's just... I don't know. I'm not finding anything particularly interesting about this. I'm still kind of confused as to exactly what is happening in the combat. Um, I 
You can see that on his face, Nels? That's pretty impressive. Ah, yes. Let's make sure we hit the cheese shop before we go for our training. She's a bit of a nag. She looks nice to me. Oh my goodness! I think that all this guy can do is, uh, uh, be an idiot. So don't go into the tavern. It's for, not for miners. Wrong kind of miner. <laughs> Dude, she really doesn't want you to. Maybe just... No, you're gonna go in anyway. He's not even, like, distracting himself. He's just going, he's, he's like, I'm in. Mr. Soldier. Yeah, I, I, just like, these characters just, just seem irritating, these kids, and, yeah, I can't, I don't want to play as irritating kids. <sighs> you are a butthole, Matic. Yeah, that's what I was saying. What he was thinking and had to say first. Busy what? Drinking? Aw, oh, you're never too young to blackmail a knight, are ya? Oh, and it works! This is a, uh, this is why this game needs to be for children. This is the lessons we need to teach our children on how to succeed in today's, uh, modern dog-eat-dog -dog world. Sounds like grown-ups have to deal with a lot, like getting banished. So why would someone come in and check on the mission if it wasn't actually a mission? They're not gonna want proof that you killed the monsters that they sent you to kill that they know don't actually exist? Or is it that you are telling these children who are like, Hello sir, I'm sorry I tried trespassing. And then I tried blackmailing you. So come on. Why don't you just let us into the castle? For, yeah, first it's trespassing, then it's blackmail, and now they're lying to the people in the castle! No one here is telling the truth to anyone about anything! I guess so. What nonsense are we gonna learn about today? What words will we be inventing that we don't need to invent? Because we could just call the ideas ideas and not is-its. And we can call the attacks attacks and not deserts. Actually, you know, it just makes things more complicated, needlessly. All right. Ooh, a different color. Okay, the yellow dazzits are shields. This feels, if nothing else, like a PS3 game. This doesn't feel like a modern console game. This feels... It just has this cutesy vibe that reminds me of the Tales of Asperia games, or the Tales of games in general that I just don't like. Ugh. <sighs> And it seems like it's just needlessly complicated. The pelt thing looks like a donut? Was that? There, it's a clever tactic to use up your, up your power on Izzets before the next turn, even if you don't need to use them as Dazzits yet.
You know, I'm cool with just turn-based role-playing games. We don't need to do this. I mean, you know, I still like this better than what they did to Final Fantasy VII, but, um, that's a pretty low bar to have to cross. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? I give up. This is the... the, the this is too convoluted. Alright, uh... So, yeah, I, I'm just gonna check out here. I can't do that. This is... this isn't fun. This just feels... It almost feels just like another, like, card deck builder that there's already way too many of, and instead of doing anything interesting, it's just... has irritating characters, and... yeah. Folks, I'm gonna say give this one... give this one a pass. There's better... there's better games out there to play. Um, so, uh, thanks for joining us. My name is Ryan Garnett. Uh, thanks for joining us for side quests during the apocalypse. Uh, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com back backslash SQDTA. Please like, please subscribe, please tell your friends. Because we want to get something cool going here and, uh, we need your help to do it. So, uh, yeah. So thanks for joining us and let's just, let's, yeah. Goodbye, Angard. I will not miss you.